Hey, you got Warren here from St. John, New Brunswick. You're watching Trucker Josh with Diesel Weasel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Minot, North Dakota. Why not have a shower when you're in Minot, North Dakota? So we're gonna have a shower. I'm gonna go inside and clean myself up. We are 1,107 kilometers away from Calgary, where we have to deliver. We have all day today and all day tomorrow to get there yet. I have eight and three quarter hour of driving left for me today yet. And we're about an hour and a half or so from the border, I think. We're pretty close to the border, so we'll get into Canada real soon. Uh, before I'll even need to take my half hour, but I'm taking my half hour here anyway. So that's that. In the US, I've said this before, but in the US, the government tells you that you need to have a half hour break, not 29 minutes, 30 minute break every day. You can only be on duty for eight hours maximum Then you need a 30 minute break. They know what you need. They know you better than you know yourself. In Canada, the government up there assumes that you know when you need to stop and you know when you need a break and how long you need to stop for. If you want to stop for 29 minutes, that's fine. If you want to stop for 15 minutes, that's fine. As long as they see that you are stopping and checking your load about every three hours, they don't really bother you much. Like they want to see that you're taking breaks. In Canada, you're allowed to drive 13 hours in a day, only 11 here in the US. And uh, you can drive those 13 hours within a 16 hour window. And in the US, you can drive 11 hours within the 14 hour window. So when I start moving my truck, or when I start my pre-trip actually, uh, my 16 hour day starts when I'm in Canada. 
And within that 16 hours, I don't have to stop for any mandatory amount of breaks or anything. As long as I had a 10 hour rest, 10 hour consecutive rest, I can work that full 16 hours. Well, I can't work the full 16 hours. I can, I can drive 13 hours of it and I can be on duty for an extra hour on top of that yet. So 14 hours, they want you to have two hours in there to, to break, but they're not gonna tell you when, they're not gonna tell you how long you have to stop. They just, they, they just know, you know when you have to stop, right? Different down here, a lot more regulation, but it's getting better, it's getting better. And uh, you know, some argue that they need that regulation. I'm a small government kind of guy, so I like as little government in my life as possible. <laughs> anyways, anyways, that's a little side note of uh, hours of service and hours of regulation and differences between Canada and the US. To go into it totally, that'd be a whole video in itself, and I don't want to get into all that. Now, I want to go and shower. I don't really need a shower yet, I don't think. Diesel, what do you think? Well, don't give me that look. Apparently, okay, apparently I do need a shower. It's not my fault your nose is like super sensitive. That felt fantastic. I got new neighbors while I was in there. Very exciting, very exciting. And the guy blocking us all in is now gone. Because with how far forward this guy pulled up, I probably wouldn't be able to get out of there if that guy was still parked there. Maybe he went to an actual parking spot, who knows? To the other side. We are now, we went from the northernmost part of the country to the southernmost part of the country in an instant. Continue on this road for 33 kilometers. The countries were just different countries, that's all. We just crossed from northern United States into southern Canada here at uh, North Portal, Saskatchewan and Portal, North Dakota. So now we have nine hours and two minutes available to us on the Canadian hours of service. I have 958 kilometers to go to Calgary. I could almost make it there, almost. But we're not gonna go that far. I think uh, I'm hoping to make it up to Medicine Hat. But if we only make it up to Swift Current, then we only make it up to Swift Current. Whatever. We can make it there in one day from here and we have all day tomorrow to get there yet. So we will go until my body says it's time to go to bed. It'll be a few hours yet. It's only what, 5.30 in the, 5.30 in the afternoon, evening, afternoon. Technically it's afternoon, right? Because once you hit 6 p.m., that's when evening starts, right? Or when does evening start for you? Evening for me always started at supper time, which is at 6 p.m. I don't know. Tim Hortons. All right. I've decided I'm gonna stop in Swift Current. I didn't make it as far as I wanted to again, but we only have another five hours to go tomorrow, so we have all day to get there. So we're gonna find a spot to park here in Pony here in the Husky in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. And we shut her down for the night, taking it easy. Just getting some stuff done here right now. And uh, 
I've been uh, trying to mess around with the format of my vlogs a little bit. I've been doing this for a very long time. I felt like I was sort of getting into a rut with my videos. A sort of, I wanted to try something new. So I've been adding a little bit more music to it. I've been trying to include more footage, more things from throughout my day, other than me just talking and looking at the road. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section the last couple of days. Have you liked it? Have I been doing a good job? I'm a little more proud of these past couple of videos than I have been of the past several weeks, months. Uh, it's just because I make a video every single day. And you know, life goes through seasons and so does my vlog. So I want to thank you all for sticking with me through all the seasons of life and through all the seasons in my vlog. And uh, you know, there's always lots going on in my life. This, These vlogs are only what, 10 to 20 minutes of my entire 24 hour day. I mean, I'm sleeping a lot of that because most people sleep every day. I sleep every day. Uh, I like sleeping every day. But uh, most of the 24 hours, you know, I'm doing other stuff. I don't include everything in my videos. A lot of stuff that uh, you guys probably don't know about me. Maybe it'll come out in future vlogs. Maybe we'll do a QA and a and you can learn more about me in the future. But I have a lot of fun doing these. I've been doing these since, what, 2011? And... Uh, something I want to continue doing and I always want to sort of change it up every now and then to keep it fresh for me to keep it fresh for you and uh, I don't know I, I think they turned out pretty good I like them I like it a little I think it's more fun like this so let me know what you think down below in the comment section I'm gonna continue editing here a little bit work a little bit on these for you and uh, tomorrow we will be on our way to Calgary we've got about another five hours to go to Calgary tomorrow so we'll take it easy again tomorrow it's been nice the last couple of days and then we have a load in calgary that's taken us back east it's actually going up north to the ice roads but we're not going up to the ice roads with it uh, we're just taking it back to winnipeg and going home for the weekend it's all been gone for a while again well yeah it's time to go home for a weekend <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. If you do like the videos, you can always uh, say so by giving it the thumbs up down below. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. There's more content like this coming out every day. Love to have you as part of the crew. We're still slowly inching our way towards 100,000 subscribers. And when that happens, YouTube sends me a little special gift, a silver play button. I've been working towards that for what, nine years now? Something like that. <laughs> We're almost there. So if you like it, share it with your friends. Maybe they'll like it too. We'll see you tomorrow.